Are you ready for a nostalgic boost as several discontinued vehicles are slated to make a comeback in the 2024 and 2025 seasons? We would love to see some cool nameplates, such as Pontiac Firebird or Buick Grand National GNX, but with the dwindling presence of sports coupes, sedans, and hatchbacks in the market, automakers are turning most of the attention to SUV and truck segments that generate more profit. Here are 10 discontinued vehicles that can return pretty soon. The Honda Element, a beloved compact crossover, is reportedly making its way back to the enthusiasts' garages. This vehicle has long been missed by its loyal fan base, who have often reminisced about its unparalleled longevity and versatile utility. Industry insiders suggest that the new Element would inherit the charm of the original model while infusing it with modern technology picked from the CRV crossover. Potential design upgrades must include enhanced interior with up-to-date infotainment system and improved materials, exterior styling with retention of the boxy silhouette with contemporary tweaks, and performance expectations of efficient engines with hybrid powertrains. We already made a video about its comeback with deep analyses what the new 2024 Honda Element could look like. Check out the link in description for a full review. The Nissan Xterra, debuting in 2000, was an instant sensation, rooted in a unique synthesis of compact SUV convenience and the rugged, unrelenting framework of the midsize Nissan Frontier truck. With a design that promised adventure, the Xterra catered to both urban roads and the off-road paths with its four-wheel drive capability, establishing itself as a vehicle that does not shy away from challenges. In China, Nissan introduced an SUV named Terra. Although it shares a similar moniker, it is distinct from the Xterra that once carved its niche in the market as a trailblazer. Despite the divergence, the revival of the beloved Xterra is a topic of stirring anticipation as the latest generation of the Nissan Frontier emerges. There's potential for new synergy, as the freshly launched truck could pave the way for the return of the SUV. The Toyota FJ Cruiser made a mark on the off-road community with its debut in 2006. Boasting a visually arresting design, particularly the distinctive suicide doors, the vehicle quickly became a favorite among enthusiasts craving adventure beyond the asphalt. Its off-road prowess not only matched its bold looks but often exceeded expectations, making it a formidable contender in the rough terrain, where the forerunner, Tacoma, and Tundra became the remaining favorites after the FJ's departure. Despite a strong start in sales, the excitement waned, and by 2014 the FJ Cruiser bid farewell to the American market, eventually halting production in the Middle East. Toyota later unveiled the urban cruiser concept, though it shifted gears toward the electric realm which didn't quite resonate with those eager for the FJ Cruiser's nostalgic, rugged appeal. The automotive landscape is set to be stunned with the anticipated relaunch of the Ford Excursion. Among the spectrum of sport utility vehicles, Ford stands out as the sole automaker to have previously engineered an SUV derived from a heavy-duty truck platform. The forthcoming Excursion is slated to use the robust F-250 as its base. Ford enthusiasts are abuzz with the prospect of new engine choices, the formidable Godzilla and its lighter counterpart, Baby Godzilla, both of which are powerful petrol powertrains. Unlike the F-250 truck, the updated Excursion will pivot away from diesel, an intentional move that allows the vehicle to focus on refined horsepower rather than raw torque capacity. The Subaru Baja, often remembered as a quirky yet charming vehicle, was essentially an outback with the back chopped off, a blend of sedan comfort and the utility of a pickup. This all-wheel drive vehicle attracted a dedicated fan base with its unorthodox styling and solid rally foundations. It faced challenges with limited cargo space that didn't quite match the needs of traditional truck users. For the Baja to make a comeback, significant improvements will be necessary to meet modern standards. Enthusiasts hinting at a possible revival with enhanced features and improved functionality. Speculation has also emerged about Carmaker potentially introducing a successor to the Baja, drawing inspiration from the legendary Subaru Brat, which could bring a fresh perspective to company's portfolio of innovative pickups. It is another vehicle we analyzed already, check the link to the full video in description. Revival rumors of the Chevy El Camino are sending waves of excitement through the automotive world. This iconic car-truck hybrid, which initially captured hearts from the 1950s to the late 1980s, is speculated to make a grand return, ready to take on fresh competition in the compact truck segment. Today's market sees the rise of small pickups, such as the Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz. These models are making a splash, and with the reintroduction of the Toyota Stout, the stage is set for the El Camino's triumphant comeback. The market buzz suggests that the El Camino could feature a balance of power and efficiency, catering to those looking for style, performance, and practicality.
It's an opportunity for Chevrolet to blend classic design with the latest technology, potentially shaking up the pickup landscape once again. Speculation is swirling about the potential comeback of the Lincoln Blackwood. The brief run of this luxury pickup from 2001 to 2002 left a mark, considering its unique appeal and the fact that it was crafted by the designer behind the iconic Ford F-150. With the industry's recent tilt towards high-performance trucks, like Ford's high-end Raptor R, the resurrected Blackwood would face a market divided between performance fans and those with a need for luxury. The former may prioritize a roaring 700-horsepower engine and robust off-road capabilities, while the latter might find value in premium amenities and cutting-edge multimedia technology. The luxury truck segment is dead and a revived Blackwood could energize this market, with a close gap between luxury and utility. GMC hints at reviving a beloved nameplate for its heavy-duty truck lineup. The top kick is poised to make a comeback, riding the waves of nostalgia and robust performance expectations. While Chevrolet has re-entered the light-duty truck sector with its Silverado 4500 and Silverado 5500 models, GMC has so far opted out of Series 4 and 5 trucks. However, change is in the air, and enthusiasts are eager to see the top kick badge once again adorning a powerful machine. There is talk that GMC may reintroduce the top kick to replace its Silverado 5500 counterpart. Moreover, as the Silverado 4500 may transition into the Kodiak, GMC's approach suggests a strategic revival of time-honored names to evoke the hardiness and reliability, synonymous with their trucks. Although whispers of its discontinuation after the 2024 season are in the air, the Camaro remains a star for its loyal fanbase. The decline in sports car sales hasn't broken these spirits, as they cling to the name that has roared on roads for generations. While the Camaro stands tall among muscle cars, rivals like the Ford Mustang forge ahead to potentially claim the top spot in this segment's legacy after the discontinuation of the main rival. However, General Motors is no stranger to competition and understands the importance of maintaining the edge, not just in the pony car domain, but across all market segments. Looking ahead, GM's ambitious journey toward electrification will inevitably reach the Camaro. The demands are high, and imbuing an electric variant with the legendary car's spirit presents a formidable challenge. If General Motors seeks to leverage the Camaro's fame to make headway in the EV spectrum, it must ensure the electric iteration is as impressive as the internal combustion engine-powered version. Excitement is building among sports car enthusiasts as the legendary Honda S2000 is poised to make a striking return. Transitioning to the electric vehicle, the revived S2000 embraces company's dedication to sustainability, utilizing advanced GM's Ultium electric vehicle platform. Envisioned to be an exhilarating, yet eco-conscious machine, it is expected to boast a range exceeding 300 miles, paving the way for long-spirited drives. With an anticipated price of $50,000 to $60,000, the electric S2000 emerges as a compelling contender, offering a fusion of performance and affordability. This creates an accessible option for those eager to indulge in the racing experience without venturing into the pricier spectrum occupied by the likes of the Tesla Roadster. These are just a few of the legendary vehicles that could make a comeback in the near future, with a real chance for a revival. Which car, SUV, or truck has left a lasting impression on you, and whose return are you eagerly anticipating? Share your thoughts in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our reports if one of these classics makes a triumphant return.